So in this video, we're going to look at an example of the Rangakara second order. The equation we're solving, the problem we're solving is this one, dy dx uh, equals xy, y of 0 equals 1 is the initial condition. So in order to, uh, I've, I've got here the iterations and labels here, n, x, k1, k2, and y. So uh, here are the number of iterations. Uh, the 0 of the iteration, x0 is 0, which you see here, and y of 0 is equal to 1. So I've put that over here. Now, as um, we will note here that, in fact, uh, oh, sorry, one thing, uh, let's define a h uh, over here. So we'll say here, let's say, uh, we'll call that, we'll put h here, and we'll say that's uh, 0 0.1 for the sake of argument. Uh, let me go back here, sorry, change that. And that's going to be equal to, in fact, uh, this uh, plus uh, this one here. So that's equal to this, and I'm going to put a reference uh, to that. Okay, so now I can just copy that down. And there we go. So there we've got our values of um, x. So now, as we come to calculate y, y1, now remember, uh, y1 depends on k1 first of all. So k1 is, uh, in this case, it's h, of course, uh, which it would be, so I'm gonna write it down, so it's uh, i, then we have, multiply that uh, by x and y. So x, the value we're using is the previous one, remember, okay? So that would be, uh, y is x0. So it'd be that, and then multiply that by um, y0, which is this value here. So uh, we'll do that, and uh, that should be our k1. Next, we'll have the k2, and k2 is in fact, of course, um, now one thing I'll do quickly, if you don't mind, is I'll just copy that, in fact, uh, so because I'll be using that again uh, here. So uh, basically that uh, asterisks uh, bracket, so we'll have the, x0, remember it's x0, so that's this uh, plus h, uh, again, so we'll say just dollar that, uh, and asterisk, then we have y0, okay, and plus uh, we have k1, so that's k1, and we close the bracket. So that gives us our value of k2, and our final, uh, of course, final calculation, what we're looking for is y, one and y1 of course in this case is going to be uh, y0 of course and then plus uh, it'll be 0 0.5 times uh, k1 plus k2 so k1 plus uh, k2 and we're almost done uh, that gives us that value those values look correct let's just copy that down say for the time being up to here and that gives us basically this uh, uh, result. Now, the value, uh, what we want to do is, of course, do the exact value. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call this now um, uh, uh, y, of course, uh, sorry, y uh, rk, okay, rk2. So that's meaning using Rangakara. So um, let's, uh, let's also, as I said, y Euler. So if we want to do the Euler one here, so y0, I remember, would be one, so, oh, sorry, okay, so that would be one, uh, and here we'll have the Euler's method, of course, which would be, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, sorry, uh, dollar, I dollar 15, no, 16, okay, and that will be multiplied by the value of x, which is x0, which is this, and that will be further multiplied by the y0 value. And of course, I forgot something here. Uh, of course, adding this is, of course, uh, y0. Y, wait, y0 plus that is. So that is Euler's method, essentially. Let's just check it to make sure it's giving the correct values. And we're going up to here. And yes, it seems to be fine. So that's Euler's method. Now, let's do a, a bit of uh, error analysis. 
Now the exact solution to this problem, in fact, is uh, the exponential of um, the value of x uh, power 2 divided by 2, in fact, bracket close. So that's the exact value. So let's just copy that over. <coughs> Excuse me. So that gives us this. Now, um, that those are basically the exact values. Um, let's proceed now to calculate the error in the Euler. So the error in the Euler would, of course, be uh, the absolute value, of course, of uh, the exact value minus the Euler value, okay, by Euler's method. So that's the error. Now let's copy that down. We've got our error there. Okay, that looks about right. And here we'll do the same thing, but this time the exact uh, minus, and we'll do, of course, um, Runga cut a second order. So let's do that. And that gives us the error here for Runga cut a second order. Now you'll see a marked difference uh, between these. Um, I'm sorry about that. Just let me correct that. OK. So now you'll see a, a, a marked difference between the Runga cut and the Euler in this particular instance. So here um, you'll see the error in the Euler, of course, as expected. It's an order one method, so it's around the uh, 0.1. So our, our error for Euler is around 0.1, uh, in fact. So it's close to about uh, 0.1 or so. And, and in the uh, second order Rangakara, you can see the significantly better uh, error, which is about, about a square, h squared. It's almost 0 0.01, in fact. And, and it will be a little less than that because, remember, there is the derivative term multiplying it, it's not precise, it's an estimate. But in any case, you can see the difference between the two. Now, it's very interesting, if you play around with this, it can really help you to understand how this error works. So for instance, if I was to make this uh, 0 0.05 for the sake of argument, okay, so I'm gonna have the error. So if I do that, you will see that uh, two things you need to note. First of all, you can notice that in 10 iterations is now not sufficient to, sorry, to go up to one. Before we were using 0 0.1 and was going up to one, if you remember. So I'll need more iterations to get up to that, for instance. So if I were to copy this over, then I would need, let's see, there were one more. So copy that again to one more, and that would make it one now, okay? Now, of course, there is uh, that extra bit of calculation, but you will also notice that the error is uh, better than before. So significantly uh, better than before. Okay, it's significantly, I mean, of course, we know how much better it's going to be, clearly. It's of the order of h for the Euler, and it's order h squared approximately estimated for the uh, Rangakara second order. Okay, so hopefully, I, I hope that this helps you to understand how these two uh, methods work. Um, I decided to go with the Excel rather than paper because of the number of calculations that are actually required. Now one can very easily do the same with the Rangakara fourth order, which I showed you the formula for at the end of the previous video on the introduction to Rangakara methods. It's uh, here you have K1 and K2. Of course, uh, that'll have two more Ks, remember? Anyway, uh, I hope that you have a reasonable idea about how this method works using Excel. And uh, let me change that back now to 0 0.1. And you can see that um, uh, there we were. That's our value here. And those are our errors. So you can see here the order 0 0.1. It's the order of uh, h uh, as you go to 1. It's order h, in fact. And here you can see almost order h squared. Um, uh, that's the two uh, methods, Euler's method and the wrong cut of second order. Okay, we'll stop here. Thank you.